Hi, uh, this is Sassy Kimchi. Uh, welcome to my channel. So today I have the possibility to do a quick review of the three uh, models uh, that you can find as Birkins on the market if you are indeed lucky to find one or to get one offered to you. So um, the first one I'm just going to show you but I'm not going to handle it too much because I'm um, I am always scared to, you know. Okay, so this is the smallest. This is actually the 25. So uh, this is actually a nice red that was made last year. So I kind of like the 25 on other people, but I find uh, this, you know, even if I'm tiny, I find this size too small for me. So um, yeah, it's a bit sad because I think it's really regarding to how thin uh, you can get. And I know people on the internet, on Instagram for example, you know, they're very, very thin, tall and elegant. And I think it looks darling on them, but I think it's really not nice on me. So this is actually the smallest, as I said. Um, as you can see, it's a really, really nice Birkin, as most of them are. And this is actually um, the 30, sorry about that. This is the 30, so I'm just going to show you very quickly. 25 and this is the 30. Uh, you can find a picture on my Instagram on this so you can see the difference between the three and um, this is actually uh, 25 and on the back it's the 30. So what is my favorite size? Well I think I've already told about it uh, so much and it's very easy for me to say that my favorite size is the 30. If you know I was tall and slender maybe the 25 would be good but then again I don't think you can fit that much in the 25 anyway so um, it's not really the easiest so this is as mm. I said this is the 30 and I've already made a video on this one it's really I think it's the thinnest uh, <laughs> the best choice I mean if you want to get not too big and not too small then you have to get the 30 but you know mm. It's also um, in regard with what you use. I mean, I know some people on Instagram that only want the 35. So here comes the last one, actually. This is the 35. Uh, this one I just received uh, from my husband. Some quite a lucky woman, I suppose. Um, no, I'm not too sure it's the lucky one in them. Probably the lucky one. So this is the 35. It's quite big, actually. Um, However, when I tried it in the store, so I have to say I had a two-year wait list uh, for this one um, because I never managed getting one in Paris because in Paris they're not very nice to me. So whatever, I'll go elsewhere to get my Birkin. So this is actually my Birkin 35 that I just received. As you can see, I still have the plastic zone. I still haven't been able to unwrap it properly. I always get, you know, get so crazy about all the armies that I get and then I go oh my god oh my god but then at the end of the day I have to say I don't use them so much anyway so there you go so this is my 35 this is my last one this is exactly what I wanted only I wanted the 30 in this size so I'm a bit disappointed because um, although I'm really happy and I'm a very lucky woman and I shouldn't complain and everything because you know so many people are suffering on this planet and this is just a f you know first word problem so you know I mean you always have to think about older people you don't have the same chance as you are as you do have actually sorry about that so yeah um so I'm, I'm really lucky about getting this one and after two year wait I was a bit upset actually because I in the store I was told that I could have actually waited three years to get the 30 which is really the one I wanted so I'm turning 35 and this is exactly what I wanted the 30 uh, black togo silver hardware because this is for me the most classic one you can get. So many people will tell you I prefer gold, but this is just a question of personal opinion, I would say. So I won't say to you, oh, get the gold, get the silver. For me, silver is where I'm at, and I prefer silver. I think it looks younger, cooler, more rock and roll. I think gold is a bit too cliche, a little bit too classic, and it's not really me. 
but if you are into classic you know really and the good thing you have to know with the 35 is that the 35 is exactly the size that jo Jane Birkin actually owns so if you want the perfect Birkin this is actually exactly the same that Jane has so you know I'm not saying I'm a big fan of her but you know if you want to go for the classic I mean you may as well go for her what I like with her though is that her, her English quirky sense of humor you know that really goes home I used to be like that when I was younger I'm not that person anymore so you know I've changed and I've become a political sort of person and, and, I, and I like a new stance so this is actually my uh, Kelly as you can see my Kelly is really one of my favorite you can see that I carry it not too often but I do carry it and so mine my Kelly is actually 32 so if you actually compare to my 35 there's not such a big difference but I mean it is quite majorly bigger really so I'm trying to find new way to make videos which I never thought about so hope you guys can see better so as I said my favorite size uh, for the Birkin is actually the 30 regarding the Kelly I'm not so sure to be fair so I would say that I'm tiny and I do I have owned a 28 uh, which I have sold but it was a second hand really vintage one and I really liked it but then I thought it was quite tiny actually I couldn't really put everything I wanted to put inside and it's really really stupid but suddenly um, although I'm a big advocate of small tiny bags I ended up with a 28 and I thought oh I can't put everything I actually want to fit inside and that's where I felt oh maybe I might need the bigger one so actually I was proposed to get onto a list for this one as I said I always get on the list and uh, I got it like once again two years wait uh, this is actually a tube and a tube gold uh, I think gold is pretty good with a tube so I, I like it more than silver so it really depends as well on the color of the leather and uh, what I like with it is that I really can stop everything so don't forget as well I'm a new mom and I haven't been for a long time and therefore I find it much easier for me to carry some of the you know my stuff or some of my things for my son otherwise I usually use my uh, peanut and peanut tote bag you know when I carry a tiny bag to put all the things for my boy because you know you always need some stuff um, anyway oh yeah I forget to show you so because people ask me our oh, tiny is a 25 so it's a bit as I said it's quite difficult for me to give you a, an idea so this is actually 25 this is a wallet on chain by Chanel so I'm um, trying to show you so this is the difference here sorry I've got a bit of uh, fluffy hair a bit around so there you go so you can see there's not that much difference in size actually because this one's 20 uh, centimeter wide and this one is 25 so uh, really you can't really put that much in I would say you know the iPad does fit I mean, I have the small one, so yeah, the, the iPad, the, the small one, does fit into 25, but uh, once again, you know, it's a matter of personal opinion. Some people would rather get quite a lot of things inside. Uh, because I'm a mom and I'm working, I usually need to carry some stuff with me, which is why I have a tote bag, because I think it's the easiest, because, you know, it's, it's really, really, really lightweight to carry. Um, on another note, uh, hang on, I'm just going to show you um, in regard with what you actually can get here. And I'm sorry, I didn't prepare everything, uh, you know. I'm not the most organized person, I try to be, it's a constant battle. I hope I'm not the only one to admit to it. So this is actually my tote bag by Chanel, which is, uh, you know, from just this year. And uh, this is actually the smallest, and it's more or less the same size as a Neverfull uh, middle model, a um, moyen model, as you say in French. And if you actually, you know, uh, compare with my uh, Birkin, the sizes are not too different. So, you know, if you just look at it that way, you can see there's not that much difference in height and wide. So, um, the good thing with, you know, the Birkin 35 is that if you have quite some stuff to carry, uh, then, I mean, it's your to go. However, if you don't have a car, you don't have the possibility, I mean, don't carry such a heavy bag 
for a full day I mean obviously you're gonna break your back and you know um, it's ridiculous to do that I mean 15 years ago a woman were doing this I mean um, starlet as we call them in French from the US would do that but uh, I think it's completely ridiculous you don't do that anymore it's old-fashioned so uh, that's my quick video on some of my uh, you know my broken because everybody asked me since you've got the three uh, sizes with you could you show us so uh, happy to have done so um, as I said uh, go with the, the, the size that matters to you of course with Hermes it's always the same so matter getting offered the item that you actually want uh, don't settle for less I took that one thinking when I'm you know getting to 40 I'm just gonna ask for the 30 makes no sense but whatever I'm just decreasing with the age well the size is decreasing with the age so there you go um, what I like with obviously the 35 as I said I can solve all the things I want and trust me I've got loads of them so I can fit this thing I've done it before but I'm not gonna show it to you today because I'm not gonna be lying I can't be bothered <laughs> really it takes ages to open the bag so yeah I can fit my iPad my Elise Cahier my wallet it's either this one Oh, this one so you know it's up to you really I, I, I like both but you know sometimes this one's a bit handier so yeah all these things here my card holder obviously because I just love it my makeup pouch because now I need it and uh, it's very convenient and you know I take as little as I can I try not to take too much but you know there you go and this and this some um, tissues and this you know to write things out um, so there you go and the good thing that I like with it is that you can also in the 30 you can pair a pair of ears with it you know my favorite my channel so there you go uh, this is everything that you can fit inside and a few stuff for your baby like a toy something to drink something to snack on because you know it's very important if you pick up your kid and, and he's, he's starving you know it gets really troublesome sometimes anyway thanks a lot for watching